number two. There is Carpentier lined up with Tony Stewart, and there is Villeneuve with veteran Mark Mark and Dale Jarrett. Car number 10 is driven by the Canadian Patrick Carpentier, and as Mike Joy told you, he is an expert, a superstar in open-wheel IndyCar-type racing. He's also got a little bit of experience in what are formerly known as Bush cars, now nationwide, and two starts in these kinds of cars. But he has never run a restrictor plate race. He has never raced on anything like the Oval at Daytona. How raw a rookie is this guy? Last night, he went across the street from the Speedway, walked into a bookstore, bought two books. One on the history of NASCAR, one on the history of Daytona. Mike? And Carpentier's fallen pretty well back. Yeah, I think he used up his yep. stuff and uh, pretty well used up the right side of that car. John Andretti has passed him. Andretti in the 34. Oh, oh he hits the wall again. He's uh, pretty hard. That's pretty it. much out there. We're in the wall, boys. We're in the oh, yeah. wall. And yeah. I would say the caution will fly. The yep. caution will fly. So this right, is going to come down. Right. You're all clear. And nobody, only one coming behind you. Only one coming. All right, I'm going to run the bottom right there. So we have the same situation that we had in race number one. We've got all these go-or-go-home guys. We're going to have a two-race shootout. Who's going to come to pit road? Who's going to stay out? Pontier, he's just Ooh. there. You saw the right front go. I mean, I think that's why he was hitting the wall, pushing up off of two over there. That right front was worn out and finally just blew on him. I'll tell you one thing, I, 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 these restarts now, anything can happen on a restart. Daryl, of all the open wheelers that have come to NASCAR recently, I think Carpentier probably embraced drafting and Daytona the best of them. See Bobby Kennedy there that's uh, over in uh, Michael's pit, so they didn't want to see that caution. I think they were pretty happy with things the way they were. They appear to have that kind of a problem. They've been running side by trouble, side. Trouble, backstretch. Whoa, trouble, round he goes. Carpentier. Oh, gosh. Hang on to it, buddy. Caution will fly here at lap 161. Now, he did not start there. Uh, the guy moved up on me. Yeah, the car in front That's of him. That's all right. That's all right. Let's take it to the garage, guys. Let's take it to the garage and get it fixed up. We're leaking oil or something. I'm not sure who was just in front of Patrick, who's making his first start of the season in the Sprint Cup Series, but somebody came off turn two, squeezed him right up in front of him in the wall, and uh, I believe... We're going to see if that was David Reagan and who was in front of the six of Reagan. There's Newman, Reagan, and watch the 10. Oh, Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman, yeah. David Reagan absolutely yeah. did nothing wrong yeah, on the six. Newman just uh, didn't, come, didn't give him enough room. I got, you can look at it either way. Maybe Patrick should have backed off a little bit or maybe Ryan should have you know, given him a little bit more room. Definitely could have been a little more give and take. I there. think just that was a big deal right there. Somebody didn't know. They didn't work very well together. They will take the 10 car to the garage. You can just see there. I, I, I think two things. If I'd have been in the 10 car, I'd have lifted a little bit. But he had a run on him. Figured what the heck. Really aggressive than Jeff Gordon. Doesn't panic. And you know, the amazing thing about it, 21 lap, laps past halfway, it's actually starting to lighten up. I believe we got a 500 lap oh, race on our hands. Turn two, Carpentier gets punted around. Holy cow, they're just going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they were five wide for a moment as the car 77. Down here, guys. Matt two, Kenseth four. at 17. Carpentier. That, that will bring the caution out. Just going to say about Jimmy Johnson's car, it looks like on a restart with low air that he has the most trouble. Seems like the car gets better the longer it's out. And that's exactly right. I yeah. mean, that's that's the dilemma. It's a, it's a great problem to have, but it, it, it can't Turn be two. a problem. Sorry, they all stacked up right there. Sorry, Larry. One car, uh, Kurt Busch, slow off the corner. We got, we got Spin, problems. crash, turn three. Trouble. And they just keep stacking in there. What turned into a well, one-car problem over in turn two ended up with all these cars tore up in turn three. And I tell you, the luckiest guy I ever saw, he's just rolling out of there now, is a 31 car. He got into that, but he didn't get any very much damage. So he came to our point leader. They got more than I thought he had. In the 48, he got whacked up pretty good. These guys have been racing each other three wide a lot tonight, more than I've ever seen here.
Laney, Yaley, and Edwards. And I believe that that, that just knocked Yaley up in the outside wall, and then they started stacking up behind. You see Compartier and the 10 car hard in the inside wall, and it was on from there. It was uh, hit Carpentier's teammate, Elliot Sadler, couldn't check up quick enough, got in the back of Patrick. Boy, did you see Ryan Newman just go, all those guys going by on the apron, nobody really got slowed down very much. And, and Matt Kurt Bush, Kenseth. Kurt Busch in the two took a hard shot. That was a hard lick on that inside wall by that 10 car. Now, Patrick Carpentier has climbed out of his car. He's Look okay. They just keep piling at 17. He's torn up big time. Kurt, Kurt Bush. Bush has climbed out of his car. He's okay. And the red flag is out. Actually, the 22, I think the 22 pushed. Yellow is out, yellow is. The 96 over into the 99, actually. That Hamlin had contact with on pit road. Matt, uh -oh. oh, trouble. That's Sam Hornish. In the 77. Patrick Carpentier in the 10 was involved in that. Caution is out. Stay low. There's a splitter. He's losing a couple of struts there, but still saved it. And yeah, just some contact there. Hornish got into the 10 car with Patrick Carpentier. This is in turn one. And Sam in a backup car after a crash in practice yesterday. Attack on the track brings out the caution. Jimmy Johnson is the race leader. Then Tony Stewart, Denny Hamlin, Mark Martin, and Casey Kane, the top five at Pocono. Yeah. Again, Tony Stewart comes in here after a tough couple of weeks at Charlotte and Dover. Lost a tire. Oh, multi car crash. Carpentier again. 38. Is in that as I well. I think the 77 was in it again. Yeah, yeah, it in. Yep. I thought I saw him go around one time. Brings out our fifth caution flag of the race. Same corner, too, I think. Yeah. Turn one. Pick it up a little bit underway. It's the same two guys it's in the, the same corner just a little bit later. So I'd like to have seen a, a little bit later and a little bit higher up the racetrack, yeah. but the same kind of choreographed spin. On board with Terry Labonte driving the 45 car for Kyle. You know, the, oh. set, uh, the Carpentier got loose, saved it, and hooked. And got into the 38. Yeah, that, that, you saw it. You, you, you could see when the 10 car. Yeah, Shannon, the 15 car, Paul Menard up into the wall. He'd had a couple of close calls over in turns three and four, and he finally hits it up here. Looks like Patrick Carpentier is involved in this also in the 10 car. Carpentier spun in front. There's the uh, 10 car Carpentier, and then the damaged Chevy of, of Menard. Quite a bit of damage on the back of his Paul Menard's car here. See exactly what happened. Carpentier, you got in here and got against Paul. Yeah. Both of them spin. A little synchronized spinning there. Menard gets the worst end of it. He does contact the uh, safer barrier up there, bringing out caution for the 14th time. So we'll go back to green with less than 30 laps to go when we come back. Jimmy Johnson trying to hold on for 18 more laps to win race number one in the chase for the Sprint Cup. He's been really good on these restarts. His car just seems to get hooked up a little bit better than Greg Biffle and Carl Edwards. It allows him Trouble to get out to about two. three for a big crash. Car spinning around and a couple cars going around. It is the 10 car of Patrick Carpentier to just loop the complete 360. Wow, Jeff Gordon just barely missed that accident. He may have gotten a little piece of it if he didn't. He uh, barely missed these guys. Couple of cars lucky to get by this. Watch the seven and the ten. They're supposed to be teammates, but that didn't exactly work that way. 
Robbie Gordon got into it. Jeff Gordon. Wow. wow. That was close. Right along with Jeff Gordon here. See him down Inside. in the turn one. He sees this happening Inside. there. Right in front of him. Go low. Oh, wow. Good job. Nice job of driving right there. Amazing what you can do with your eyes closed. Middle <laughs> three. Spin in front of you, go low, go low, go low. Saw Denny Watch Hamlin inside. sneak around on the right Watch side outside. Watch outside. of the 10 car. Between the 10 and the wall. Here at this track. McMurray has five top 10 finishes at Dover in 11. Oh, we've got trouble off two. And car sideways. Oh, Carl. Right in the, front of the 99 is the yeah, 10 Carl car. Carl Edwards got a piece of that. Yeah, Patrick Carpentier loops around. Yeah, I, I did everything I could there. Yeah, I think he's going to have left front and right front damage. I'm speaking of Carl Edwards. Not real bad. I'm going to stay out. He made a move towards pit road and then decided to stay out. He, he feels it's not bad enough to come in early. Time, Bob. The penalty for yeah. pitting early is to go to the tail end of the longest line, and he wanted to go ahead and avoid right, that. It's fine. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Just the bumper. Didn't even hit the fender. Now watch the 48 car, Jimmy Johnson, try to get there. He's right behind Carpentier. Yeah, you can see him get loose right there. Jimmy Johnson down on the inside, so he's just hoping that he does. Oh, Ooh. wow. How close is that? If he just clips the right rear corner of that car right there, it's going to shoot Jimmy Johnson in the wall, and then you see Carl Edwards get just a piece of that. Yeah, I thought Carl actually got in the outside wall when I first saw it, but he didn't. He didn't touch that. I think he just gets a little bit in the left front here. Watch it here. Stay low. Watch him to go high. Go high. Wow, wow. That's a hard decision to make right there in the day. You guys say, which way do you go? I can't even tell you how difficult that is. Carl Edwards did a fantastic job. You know coming off the corner, though, that generally these cars go to the bottom of the racetrack. You can see Carl just hit him with the left front. But the, we've seen how tough these race cars are, Andy, so I don't think I, that's going to hurt him. I'm amazed how much that these cars do take. That was a pretty good lick. Greg Biffle now on pit road. He will come down and get service on uh, last week. I like this guy, Carpet Eater. Carpet.